It's not my fault that we don't have no hot water. It's the landlord. Families at a Jacksonville apartment complex forced to boil water, then bathe in a sink for months. People living at the Stone Village apartment said enough is enough and turned to our Working For You investigators for help. Care Gifford's Mitch McCoy has learned the city has been aware of the problem since day one. The property manager had since last fall to fix the problem. Code enforcement has been out numerous times, but we're learning they too may have been getting hosed. Since October the 20th, 2022. Could you imagine? Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year. We have had no hot water. It has been 84 days since Johnny Campbell felt hot water from his kitchen sink or shower. I have a big pan that I heat the stove up and I put it in the sink. And that's how I took a bath today. And that's how I took a bath since October the 20th, 2022. He's lived at Stone Village in Jacksonville for decades. It's home, which is why he's been texting the property manager about the problem ever since. It's not my fault that we don't have no hot water. While Johnny is inside talking with us, the Working For You camera captured crews working outside trying to fix the problem. They told us they were called only 24 hours prior. Ironically, the same day Working For You started calling and texting the landlord. We have plumbers that's here, and I believe it's here because of the meter, Channel 4. Well, they try and get hot water flowing again. We've gotten numerous complaints about the hot water issue over there. Meet Jacksonville um, Police Lieutenant Ryan Wright. He says code enforcement officers have inspected the apartment complex seven times between October and January. We've interacted with them, tried to get them to fix it. Um, they've given us invoices where they've called plumbers out. Come to find out some of those invoices weren't completely accurate. Wright says the invoices turned over never had dates on them, and they later learned that some were from 2021. They gave them to us under the impression that that had recently been done, and they weren't. All due respect, seven complaints in just a couple of months, same issue. People have been calling. They got one over on you guys. Mm -hmm. with these invoices. So what do you say to, to the people that relied on code enforcement, but code enforcement let them down over the last three or four months? So I wouldn't say we let them down. We were responding to the complaints. Um, until we did further investigation, we did miss it as far as what was going on with that. But um, we're going to hold that property accountable for what they're doing wrong and ensure that the stuff gets fixed. Thank God for you guys. Is there water? Water's on. So now the question is, is, is there hot water? Well, we wait to see if the water warms up. Working For You found the property is owned by a company out of state. They never returned our calls. Would you say that this complex or the management's on a short leash? Yes. Do you think they're going to be able to get one passed on you guys? Not again, no. KRK found the manager of the property, a local man, and he's the director of worship at a church in Hot Springs. After so many months, I text him. I said, may God have mercy on your soul. But for the people at Stone Village, today is different. We have hot water. 84 days and many holidays later, the problem is fixed. I haven't felt hot water like that since October the 20th. And for those wondering how hot, it's steaming. It's real because I said, ouch. So I'm happy. I'm very happy. Thank God. You know, this is a new year, so thank God. The property manager never called us back. Code enforcement cited the manager for the hot water issue, and he's been ordered to court at the end of the month. We'll try and ask him questions then after he answers the judge's questions.